to another episode of Build the Rebel Lobby 7. Today we have issue 23, we'll be applying the left front knuckle arm to our RB7. Okay, in the magazine today, um, we're going to be here on Damon Hill. Okay, um, another technical specification of a Williams. Okay, the FW18. Um, bit on Damon Hill himself. Okay, the 96 championship. Okay, which he won. Um, a bit here on telemetry and pit road. Okay. Um, a bit here on wheel alignments and toes. Okay, and adjustable track rods and whatnot. Okay, and our parts for this week's issue. Okay, we've got our left front knock alarm, we've got an Allen key, we've got our left front axle, we've got a 6mm lock nut, uh, we've got a pillow ball, an E-ring, um, a 3x3 set screw, and a kingpin. Okay, and um, we'll just quick look through here, and there are our instructions guys. So here are our parts, okay, and let's get stuck into it. Okay, first off, grab the knock alarm. Okay, and the 5.8mm pillow ball. Now, on the raised curve side, okay, on this joint, okay, we're going to screw the pillow ball in. Okay, just get it threaded nicely and grab your screwdriver. Okay, and then screw it all in. I'm not going to go flush this time, um, but I am going to keep it flush on the back side. Okay, so there may be a little bit of a gap in there, but it's nothing to worry about. Okay, now grab the left front axle. Okay. Um, the 3 by 3 millimeter screw set and your Allen key. Okay, now place the 3 by 3 millimeter screw set onto your Allen key like so. Okay, now grab the back of your left front axle okay and thread it in there like such okay now you'll be able to see in there okay you don't want it to go all the way through where it starts impeding the um the hole itself okay but just so it's flush with the back of the axle okay now what we're going to do we're going to drop it in Okay, into the central hole there. Now we want these two, that hole there to line up with that hole in there. Okay, so we'll push it through. Wiggle it around, so you don't want it like that. We want it like that. Okay, and then once we've got that done. Okay, now it's basically time just to grab your front chassis of your car okay because now we're going to replace the front left knuckle arm and the kingpin okay onto our upper and lower wishbones on the left side of our car okay this might be a little bit difficult to do on video but i'll give it my best crack okay now you want to line up these holes here okay on the left side of your car top and bottom all right it's crucial that they're lined up now what we're going to do okay now you'll see inside the knuckle arm here two raised points one at the top one at the bottom now they really sit in there like that and the kingpin drops down from up top okay so in through the top goes in through the top down through that one through the center one through the bottom one and out the bottom Okay, so we're going to give this a crack now, guys. Okay. We want to start off by getting the kingpin ready to thread. Okay. Now, we're going to place our top wishbone in there and drop it in. Okay, now the first, the first one's always the easiest. It's lining up the second one. And there we go. Okay guys, so the kingpin's now dropped in. 
our knock alarm is now attached to our chassis. Okay, now we can see that you know it lifts up. Once you get your suspension springs on there, it'll be all happening. Okay. Um, two more things before we wrap it up here. Okay, we're gonna flip flip it over. And we're going to grab our E-ring. Okay. Now the E-ring basically goes onto the base of the kingpin on the underside of the knock alarm. Okay, just to lock everything together. Now you can see that I've placed the E-ring, okay, onto the base of the kingpin um, on the underside of the knock alarm. The magazine does say to use a pair of pliers. Um, I've misplaced my set of pliers at the moment, so I just used some metal tweezers, okay, put them together, gave them a squeeze. Uh, a bit of force was used behind it, but it clipped on nonetheless. Okay, so we'll flip it back up the right way now. Okay, last thing we're going to do, okay, for this episode of Build the Rebel Live Server, we're going to grab this, okay, and we're going to put our lock nut into there and just lightly thread it. Okay, until it stops onto the end okay and that's this week's issue okay so let's push that aside we'll have a quick look at the back of the magazine okay next week we have our front wheel bearings okay they go on the inside and the outside of our Pirelli tire and then it will clip over that and we'll lock it down with the lock nut. And that'll be our first tie to the front of our Red Bull RB7. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was very informative. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.